Creating a video on backing up your trailer is probably the most important video I can make to help other women that are towing A-liners. It's also one of the hardest videos to make. So I've put it off and put it off and it's time to create the video. <laughs> so here we go. So in this video, my basic philosophy on how to back up a trailer is when you're in reverse, look at your rear view mirrors on the side of your vehicle in whatever direction you want the trailer to turn. Turn your wheel towards the mirror that you want the trailer out of. So if you're backing up and you can see the mirror and your trailer is in your driver's side mirror, and you want the trailer to turn to the passenger side, turn your wheel towards the mirror that you want the trailer out of. So if I turn my wheel towards the driver's side mirror, my trailer is gonna turn, the back end of my trailer is gonna turn towards the passenger side. So same thing, once the trailer is in my passenger side mirror and I want it to go back straight, then I turn my wheel towards the mirror I want it out of. <laughs> so if it's now in my passenger side mirror, I'm going to turn my wheel towards the passenger side and that's going to make my trailer turn to the left. The back end of my trailer as I'm backing up will turn to the left. So then I'm going to see it in my driver's side mirror. So once I once I see it in the driver's side mirror and if I want my trailer to be go back straight, then I need to turn the wheel towards my driver's side mirror. That's gonna turn the trailer, the butt end of it, to the passenger side. So you just keep turning your wheel a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. That's gonna turn the back end of your trailer just like this as you're backing up. Now, if you want to turn into your driveway like I did, you're gonna to turn towards, depending on which direction you're going in. Now, I needed mine to turn from the street. I needed it to turn let's see, this way, back into my driveway. So I had to turn towards my passenger side. That turned my trailer in the opposite direction, which took it into my driveway. And then you saw, you'll watch the video. And it's kind of a long video, but you know, this is a, is a long task to learn. So bear with it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it works for you and practice, practice, practice. It's worth it. Recommendation number one. If you have a parking aid, turn it off because that beeping will drive you crazy <laughs> so off okay now I can back up without my car yelling at me that I'm gonna hit the hitch tip number two take a can of spray paint and put a spot in your garage or wherever your concrete pad is that you're parking it where you want your tongue to line up before you um, unhook it from the car you can also put a spot on the floor or the pad where you want your wheels to stop when you're backing it in. Okay, I have her hooked up to the car. Now my goal, G-O-A-L, remember that. My goal is to get my trailer back into the garage where I have it parked now. How you actually achieve your goal is to get out and look. Always get out and look. That's going to be our goal. Remember that. That's number three. Tip number three. Get out and look. So I'm at a stop sign. I'm driving around my little country block. I'm blessed to live in the country that I don't have a lot of traffic in my neighborhood. So I'm driving around the block like I did when I first got my trailer. Many, many, many times practicing backing into my, my driveway. It does take practice and it does get easier. One of the things I love about the A-liners is the visibility you can see I mean I can see if there's a vehicle behind me which is kind of nice so I'm coming up on my house I know that there's no one behind me right at the moment but I'm still going to put on my flashers because I'll be backing up and I don't want someone to run into me so here's my target there's my garage I'm gonna turn towards my side of the street and again there's no one behind me I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna 
try to line, I'm gonna pull the trailer up so that I can line it up with where I want it to go behind me. So there she is in my mirror. I'm putting my car in reverse, and when I do, I'm gonna turn off that parking aid so it doesn't beep on me. Now as I start backing up, my passenger mirror, I can see the trailer. I want the trailer to turn the opposite way. So if I turn my mirror, I mean, not my mirror, if I turn my steering wheel towards that passenger mirror and start backing up really slow, my trailer is going to turn in the opposite direction. It's going to go out of the mirror that I'm turning towards. What that's gonna do is turn it towards my house. So once I get to a certain point where my trailer, I don't want to jackknife it. So once I get it, so you can see my wheels are still turned towards my passenger mirror and my trailer is just starting to turn into my driveway. Now, right now, everything looks perfect. If I stay on target, ideally, it will just flow right into my parking stall and into my driveway. But in order to do that, at some point, I'm going to have to straighten out my wheels and turn them towards the driver's side so that my car will follow my trailer into the driveway. So that's what I'm going to try to do. From my driveway, you can see that I'm pretty close to where I want it, want it to follow in. Another piece of advice when you're backing up, expect every man in the neighborhood to come and try to teach you how to do this. Just tell them you got it, that you're practicing and you just want to learn it and you appreciate the advice, but you want to do this on your own. Also with that said, kind of file away what they said. And the old man down the street said, you got to make sure you're paying attention to the direction your wheels are turning in. So how do you know what direction your wheels are turning in? You get out and look, you follow the goal, you get out and look. So you can't tell from in here, what direction your wheels are in, you really literally have to get out and look. So right now I know that my wheels are turned because I was just out there and I looked. So I am going to get it back in reverse and I'm gonna slowly and just a little bit turn my wheels to straighten them out and try to follow my trailer in. Now the trailer wants to keep turning. so. You have to play with the steering wheel. I'm going to turn it back a little bit. No, I need to turn it towards. So now the trailer is in my driver's side mirror and I don't want it to keep turning too sharp. So now I'm going to turn my wheels towards that mirror. I'm going to turn my wheels, my wheel and turn and turn and turn to follow my trailer. And you can see my trailer. She's wanting to go in but I don't want to keep turning my wheels too long in this direction because then it'll keep turning and end up running into my husband's truck. So that's about, as, that's about the angle I want it. So I am going to get back into drive. I'm going to pull, I'm going to straighten my wheels now. I want to get my wheels straight. I want to know, and you don't know, honestly, by using your steering wheel. All right, so there. Now, I want to make sure my wheels are in the straight position. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get out and look. All right, my wheels are straight. Trailer's out in the middle of the road. Now I know I need to turn again towards the passenger side to get it to start turn it into the driveway again. All right, she's in my driver's side mirror and I want to keep backing up. My wheels are straight. She's still wanting to turn. My wheels are straight. I want to follow her in, so I'm going to let her go. You can see my wheels. All right, now I need to start turning my wheels again towards the driver's side here. Follow it into the driveway. 
All right, there she goes. And at some point, I'm going to have to... All right, so I still got my... I'm gonna show you where my wheels are. All right, my wheels are slightly turned towards the driver's side mirror. And my trailer's just getting ready to come up on. And it looks like it's in good position to meet my goal. All right, so I'm just gonna keep slowly backing up. Slowly, and I mean slowly, 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 slowly backing up. Okay, so I don't want her to keep turning. So now I'm gonna turn my wheels towards the mirror I want it out of. So she's 100% in my driver's side mirror. So I am going to crank my wheel, crank my wheel so that my tires are some that my steering wheel is towards the pass the driver's side mirror. All right. So that's not working because you can see she's still wanting to turn that way. So now I'm going to pull the car forward, put it in drive, straighten out my wheels. Straighten out my wheels. Turn it all the way this way. Get it straight again. All right, and then put it in reverse. And try to follow the trailer into the driveway. All right, she's still wanting to turn that way. So I will put it in drive. Turn my wheels, try to get them straight again. Turn, keep going until I know that they're in the straight position. All right, that's in the straight position. Put it in reverse. Back it in. Now I'm going to turn my wheels towards towards the driver's side. Yeah. All right, and she's still going, still going, still going. I haven't jackknifed it. All right, I'm going to stop, put it in drive, pull forward just a little bit, enough to straighten out my wheels and if, do I know if my wheels are straight I don't know I'm gonna get out and look this is how I practice all right my wheels are in the straight position so now I can turn them in either either towards the driver's side mirror to get it to go one way or turn turn the wheel towards the passenger side mirror to get it to go the other way so right now she's looking pretty good but this is taking me a while and I'm taking my time and I'm going slow and if there's a car coming I will just stop and let him get by me I wasn't lying when I said this wasn't easy. <laughs> and I was a lot worse at this when I started, but I'm gonna keep after it. All right, so she is 100% in my driver's side mirror. So my right now my tires are in the straight position. I'm going to turn about a quarter of a turn towards my trailer. Well, I'm gonna turn it a half a turn because she's still not wanting to turn. All right, I'm gonna keep turning keep turning all right now I've turned as far as my wheel will go and she is just starting to respond see how she's just starting to straighten out all right now I have to put it back in drive turn my wheel slowly 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 so I don't want to lose my progress with where she's at slowly straighten up my wheels all right, and I'm gonna put it back in reverse. She's still in my driver's side mirror, so I'm gonna turn my wheel towards my drive, turning my wheel towards the driver's side mirror. I'm slowly backing her up. Keep turning, keep turning, turn. Okay, she's getting close to where I need her to be, but not quite, so I gotta pull forward. All right, and this time I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna turn my wheels, get them straightened out, I'm gonna keep turning because I want to move her over a little bit. This will be easier if I pull all the way out. She's gonna follow me. I'm gonna straighten out my wheels. Straighten, 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 straighten. All right, and I'm gonna put her in reverse and I'm gonna turn towards my driver's side mirror because she's still too far over this way. I need to get her, all right, now she's turning and I'm gonna do an S turn with my steering wheel. S turn. Oh, that's too much. Now see she's over in my passenger side. 
I can see her there. I can see she's trying to go in the right direction. And I want her, I still want her out of this mirror. So I'm gonna turn my wheel back this way. Okay, she's turning. She's turning, but she's not turning sharp enough and I'm running out of room. So now I gotta pull forward again. Straighten out my wheels. Straighten out my wheels. Get going as far as I can before I run into my neighbor's car. All right. Now I'm gonna put her in reverse. I'm gonna turn towards my passenger, or my driver, sorry, my driver's mirror. Until she's about that far, okay. She's getting where I want her to go. Now I can watch her. Let's see, I'm still turning towards my driver's side because I still want her to turn this, to go that way. All right, but I don't want her to go too far that way. So now I'm going to turn my steering wheel, about a half a turn, three quarter turn, however much I need to turn towards her because see she's in that passenger side mirror now. So I'm turning towards that mirror because I don't want her to go too far in that direction. You can see her on the sidewalk going where I want her to go. Okay. So I've got a car coming, so I am going to pause and let the car go. Okay, so the neighbor lady's by. All right, so I want to get her to straighten out a little bit. So I'm turning my steering wheel towards that mirror. And she is going to respond slowly. All right, she's turning. All right, turning, turning, turning. I'm just going to slowly keep backing up. You can see back there where she's at. I'm gonna slowly keep backing up. All right, now she's turning this way. So in my driver's side mirror, I'm gonna turn a little bit towards that mirror, straighten it out. And turn towards my driver's side mirror. Keep turning because she's really Want me to go that way. All right. All right. So I'm pretty close. So now I'm going to go straighten her out again. Pull forward. Pull forward a little bit. Straighten out my wheel. Straighten out my wheel. All right. So now I'm going to put her in reverse and turn slightly towards my driver's side mirror. I can see, all right, keep turning towards my driver's side mirror because I don't want, I want her to straighten out in my driveway. All right, she's starting to straighten out, so now I'm gonna turn towards my passenger here. And then I'm gonna zigzag with my steering wheel back and forth until she lines up where I want her. So see, she's too far, she's going towards my husband's truck, so I'm turning towards that mirror. Turning towards that mirror and she's straightening up. And I think I just hit a flower pot on my driver's side because my car's too far over. All right, so I'm putting her in drive. Straighten it up a little bit. Turn my steering wheel, get my wheels straight. Do I know if they're straight? I don't know, let's get out and check. So my wheels are straight. Trailer's in my driveway, so I'm making progress. Am I discouraged? No, this is fun. I like doing this, it's great practice. On this side, I got my car a little close to the flower pot. That's okay, no harm. I can pull forward and get a little bit farther over on the driveway. So I'm not gonna run into my grass. That's easy enough to do. So I got my wheels straight. I'm gonna pull pull out a little bit to straighten it out, get it off the grass. So I'll just turn my wheels towards my driver's side to get it straightened out a little bit. All right, so I'm tired, my wheels straight, but I'm gonna turn because I need to get, I'm just gonna do a little quick to the left. And then back to the right, get my wheels straight again. You can see my trailer's kind of straightening out back there. Okay, my wheels are straight. I'm gonna try to back up straight. Get over the hump. 
All right, now I want my trailer to be, what did I say, about a foot from the garage door. So in order to get my trailer to turn that way, I need to turn, I want to get it out of my passenger side mirror because I need it to turn towards the garage. So I'm going to turn my wheel a little bit to the passenger side. And when I do that, you can see my trailer is turned that way. Okay. I'm really going slow because I don't hit my flower pot again. So now that it's turned that way, I'm going to turn my wheel, straighten it out a little bit, straighten it out a little bit, straighten it out a little bit, turn towards the driver's side. I'm going to go back and forth. It's going to go back and forth with the steering wheel, like a quarter of a turn at a time. All right, I'm turning back towards the passenger side. All right, and now I'm going to turn back towards the driver's side because I want to get it out of the driver's side because I want it to straighten out a little bit. So see it's starting to turn. I've got it, I'm turning towards the driver's side mirror. And the trailer's starting to turn. But my car is going to hit the lamp post in front of me. So I need to pull forward, straighten out my wheels. No harm, no foul. We'll just keep doing this all day long until I get it right. And you can turn off your flashers once you're in your own driveway. All right, so I got it in drive. I'm gonna pull forward. I'm gonna straighten out my wheels as I go so I don't lose my progress that I've made. All right, I think my wheels are straight. All right, now I'm gonna use that um, garage door as my guide because I know if I line myself up with that just right, my car will not hit the lamp post on this side. So I'm putting her in reverse. Yeah, get out of here, fly. Putting her in reverse. My wheels are straight. I'm just going to kind of go straight back. Keep going straight and just see what trailer is going to do. Right now it's looking pretty good. Okay, so on the passenger side, you can see the trailers lining up with the garage door. You can see there's a gap there, so I know I'm not going to hit it. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I won't hit it. Okay, so I'm putting her, I still have her in reverse, so I'm just going to slowly. Okay, I can see she's wanting to go towards the garage door, so I'm going to turn my wheel slightly, slightly like a quarter of a turn, just to keep her on target. Alright, I'm going to have to turn a little bit more, I can tell. Keep her straight. Alright, I'm going to zigzag, so I'm going to come up towards the passenger side. Alright, I'm going to turn it back towards the driver's side. She's too far over. Alright, now I'm going to pull forward and straighten it out a little bit. Pull forward, turn my wheel to get it straight, straighten her out. Alright, got my tires, I think. Alright, now I got my tires straight. If I'm not sure, I can get out and look. This is literally how I learned. I had to get out and look until I could figure out when and where my tires were. So I'm still getting there but you know this takes time it takes practice a view from back here it should be so simple I should just be able to put it in reverse and just sling her right in here but because she's so light she just wants to turn this way and that way so the best thing I can tell you to do is as you're steering just you know zigzag a little bit this way a little bit that way a little bit this way until you get her to go straight because you can't hold the steering wheel straight she won't go straight she's going to turn one way or the other so you have to adjust. Sometimes I, it's a quarter of a turn. Sometimes it's a um, all the way to the bottom, three quarters of a turn, three, half a turn. So it's really important to take your time and go slow. Don't rush it. If you get super nervous, turn on the radio. Listen to your favorite jams and just kind of chill out and take your time. And, you know, this is an investment into your camping future. So enjoy it. That's what I do. I don't get mad at myself. I don't yell and yell and cuss and wear it myself. I just take my time and keep practicing. It's a great lesson.
All right, so I'm back in reverse. I'm just gonna go straight and see what happens. Just going, going. All right, I don't want her to go too far this way, so I'm gonna turn my wheel towards that my driver's side mirror. Just a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn it towards the passenger side mirror. Just turning, little bitty turns. She didn't like that, so I'm gonna turn it back this way. All right, that's cutting a little close, so I Turned it too sharp, so I'm going to go forward again. Straighten out my wheels. Straighten out my wheel. Straighten out my wheels. Straighten out. All right. And I know from experience now that that's straight. So I'm going to put it back in reverse. This time, I'm going to turn towards this driver's side mirror before I get too close. All right. So that looks good. Now I'm going to turn a little bit towards the passenger side mirror so that it stays going straight she's going straight all right that's a little close so i'm going to turn towards the driver's side because i want her to turn out i want her out of the driver's side so I'm going to turn towards the driver's side see that turns her and then to the passenger side that keeps her in line Keeps her in line, it's gonna be a close fit. All right, all right, now my wheels are turned towards the passenger mirror and she's going in straight. All right, so there's the green dot for the hitch. That's pretty good. I know I have to be at least behind that so that my garage door will close. So the back tire is behind the green dot here. So for my space in my garage, it's better if I have room to get around back here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull her forward about two inches, and I think we're in place. So how do you know if you're pulling forward about two inches? I open my door and look at the cracks in the sidewalk, and that's how I judge the distance. Believe it or not, it's not that easy. So there's a crack in my sidewalk. I'm going to forward what I think is about two inches from that and then get out and look. Ta-da! That looks just perfect. Ta-da! That looks just perfect. All right well she's backed in. I was lucky. Didn't hit anything. It took gosh I don't know how long have we been at this? 30 minutes maybe? So owning an A-liner is a lot of fun. It's not hard to do. You just have to practice. Um, just enjoy it. It's a learning experience. And isn't that what life is anyway, a learning experience? This is just something new you need to learn. And the rewards are worth it. This is a fantastic thing to do for yourself. And it's rewarding, it feels good. It feels good to be able to pull into a camp spot and back your trailer in. You know, maybe it takes you five tries, 10 times. Maybe after a few tries, you can get it in there two or three times. I was able to do it in one try a couple of times, so it does pay off. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.